Welcome back to Haunted Stories. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like to support my free and daily content for you. So gather around, dim the lights, and prepare to be captivated by the eerie mysteries and ghostly encounters that await in the shadows. Without further ado, let's dive into today's bone-chilling video. First Story The Echoes of Abandonment The moon hung low in the sky, casting an eerie glow over the crumbling facade of the old asylum. A group of intrepid explorers, armed with flashlights and a mix of excitement and trepidation, stood before the weathered entrance. The air was heavy with the weight of forgotten memories, and a chill ran down their spines as they stepped inside. The first thing that struck them was the oppressive silence. The only sounds were the whispers of their own breath and the soft shuffle of their footsteps on the decaying linoleum. Graffiti-covered walls held hints of the asylum's past, telling stories of despair and anguish that echoed through the corridors like a mournful symphony. As they ventured deeper, they discovered evidence of the lives once lived within these walls. Abandoned wheelchairs lined the hallways, and rusted beds with frayed restraints stood as haunting reminders of the institution's grim history. The explorers couldn't help but imagine the patients who had suffered here, their anguished cries still echoing in the corners of the rooms. In a forgotten corner, they stumbled upon a room filled with decaying medical equipment. Shattered vials and faded labels told tales of experimental treatments and the desperation of doctors trying to help their patients. The air seemed to grow heavier, suffused with the ghosts of countless lives. As they climbed a decrepit staircase, the explorers found themselves in a room adorned with faded murals. The once vibrant colors had faded to shades of gray, but the scenes depicted still told stories of hope and escape, a stark contrast to the darkness that had consumed the asylum. It was as if the walls themselves were trying to convey a message of resilience amid despair. Their journey took them to the basement, where a labyrinthine network of tunnels awaited. The stale, musty air seemed to close in around them, and every footstep echoed with an unsettling resonance. They uncovered rooms that had been used for sinister rituals, the walls etched with cryptic symbols that sent shivers down their spines. As the hours wore on, the explorers began to feel a growing unease. Whispers seemed to drift from the shadows, and the walls seemed to press in closer. Their flashlights flickered, casting dancing shadows that played tricks on their minds. The line between reality and imagination blurred, and a sense of foreboding weighed heavily on their chests. With every discovery they made, the explorers felt an increasing urgency to leave, as if the very essence of the asylum was urging them to depart. They retraced their steps, the hallway stretching endlessly before them, until finally, they emerged into the moonlit night. Gasping for breath, they looked back at the asylum, a place of darkness and history that would forever haunt their memories. Second Story The Silent Theater the grandeur of the abandoned theater was unmistakable even in its state of decay. Its ornate facade, adorned with intricate carvings, hinted at a time when the place had been a hub of entertainment and opulence. A group of adventurous explorers entered, each step echoing in the cavernous lobby. The main auditorium stretched out before them, rows upon rows of empty seats bathed in the pale light filtering through broken windows. The air was heavy with the scent of dust and old memories. As they ventured deeper, they noticed an eerie quiet that seemed to blanket the space, muffling their voices. In the dim light, they spotted an old, tattered playbill on the floor. It announced a performance from decades ago, a play that had been touted as a masterpiece of the time. As they read the title, a shiver ran down their spines. It was a tragedy renowned for its unsettling themes and the inexplicable discomfort it had evoked. As they continued exploring, the explorers stumbled upon the backstage area. 
Cracked mirrors and faded costumes lined the walls, frozen in a perpetual state of anticipation. The dressing rooms felt like echo chambers, each whisper carrying a weight of history. It was as if the performers' presence still lingered, waiting for their cues to take the stage. Venturing further into the theater's depths, they discovered a hidden passage that led to a chamber with a grand piano. Its ivory keys seemed to gleam in the faint light, and a sense of unease settled over them as they noticed the sheet music open on the stand. A haunting melody seemed to emanate from the keys, its melancholic notes weaving an eerie atmosphere. As they retreated from the piano, they found themselves back in the auditorium. To their shock, the seats were no longer empty. Spectral figures sat in every row, their eyes fixed on the stage. The explorers' hearts raced as they realized they were witnessing a performance that transcended time. The curtain slowly rose, revealing an ethereal scene that unfolded before them. The performers, translucent and graceful, moved with a haunting elegance, their movements evoking a mix of sorrow and yearning. The explorers were drawn into the narrative, their own emotions entwining with the performance. But as the play reached its climax, the atmosphere shifted. The figures on stage seemed to cast accusing glances at the explorers, their movements growing frantic and distorted. The theater itself seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy, and the explorers felt a rising sense of dread. With a collective gasp, they stumbled backward, breaking the connection between themselves and the spectral performance. The figures on stage froze, their gaze following the explorers as they hurried out of the auditorium. The door closed behind them, and the silence returned, leaving them shaken and bewildered by the inexplicable experience they had just lived through. Third Story, The Forgotten Library The abandoned library stood as a monument to a bygone era its towering shelves lined with dusty volumes that held the accumulated knowledge of generations. A group of explorers stepped cautiously into the dimly lit space, their footsteps echoing in the silence like a reverent hymn. Each step seemed to release a cloud of dust, a testament to the passage of time. As they traversed the maze of shelves, the explorers marveled at the sheer volume of forgotten information. Cobwebs clung to the corners, and the musty scent of old paper hung in the air. The library's vastness seemed both overwhelming and enticing, promising hidden treasures that had been lost to the world. Their fingers brushed the spines of the books, sending a shiver down their spines. Each volume held a story, a piece of history waiting to be uncovered. As they pulled down the fragile manuscripts, they found themselves transported to eras long past. Tales of ancient civilizations, scientific discoveries, and the musings of long-forgotten philosophers. In a secluded corner, they discovered a collection of diaries and personal journals. These diaries seemed to offer a more intimate glimpse into the lives of those who had once inhabited this place. The explorers leafed through the pages feeling like intruders in the private thoughts of the past. Tales of love, loss, and personal struggles emerged from the faded ink, creating a tapestry of human experiences. But as they delved deeper into the diaries, they noticed a pattern, a growing sense of unease and paranoia that permeated the writings. Descriptions of strange occurrences within the library, whispers in the shadows, and the feeling of being watched cast a shadow over the seemingly mundane lives chronicled in the pages. Intrigued, the explorers continued their search, uncovering accounts of individuals who had spent extensive time within the library, consumed by a thirst for knowledge. The more they read, the more they sensed a pervasive darkness that had seeped into the very fabric of the building. The boundary between reality and obsession blurred, leaving them with a growing discomfort. One journal in particular caught their attention, the diary of a librarian who had lived in the library during its final days of operation. Her entries grew increasingly erratic, 
describing visions of shadowy figures that lurked just beyond her line of sight. She wrote of books that seemed to move on their own and pages that contained messages that only she could decipher. As the explorers read these chilling accounts, they felt a growing sense of being watched themselves. The air seemed to grow colder, and the library's atmosphere shifted from one of curiosity to an almost suffocating sense of foreboding. It was as if the very walls were trying to communicate the library's untold story. In a hidden alcove, they discovered a collection of forbidden texts, volumes that had been deliberately hidden away from prying eyes. The explorers hesitated, unsure of whether to delve into these forbidden realms, but their curiosity got the better of them. As they read, they realized these texts contained rituals, incantations, and dark knowledge that seemed to be linked to the library's mysterious aura. With each page turned, the explorers felt a growing sense of unease, as if they were tapping into forces beyond their comprehension. Whispers seemed to echo in the shadows, and strange symbols appeared to dance on the periphery of their vision. They realized they had stumbled upon something beyond their understanding, something that should have remained hidden. As they closed the forbidden tomes, the library seemed to sigh, its secrets once again concealed. The explorers exited, their steps carrying a weight of solemnity. The sun had dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows that seemed to mirror the darkness they had encountered within the abandoned library. In the days that followed, the explorers couldn't shake the feeling that they had uncovered more than just forgotten knowledge. The stories they had unearthed and the sense of unease that had settled within them haunted their thoughts, a reminder that some secrets are best left undisturbed, especially those that lie within the forgotten pages of an abandoned library. Thank you for watching whole video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like to support my free and daily content for you. If you enjoyed this video, drop a comment and tell me if it got you chills. See you for another scary tale video.